Who doesn't like a little extra? We love extra. It's like a gift that keeps on giving. That being the lead into this technical analysis video, we wanted to revisit something that was actually the first indicator blog we posted a long time ago when the Earth's crust was still soft, like Jello. Well, maybe not that long ago. What we did was go back into a highly requested indicator and tweak the blog, essentially updating, adding, and rewriting it for better readability. We also included current testing data in addition to making this video. Be sure to stick around after the analysis. We have three announcements for you. I'll be honest, the first time I heard of this indicator back in the 2000s, my immediate thought went to this, the body or hull of a ship. I thought maybe it had something to do with the smooth lines or perhaps some other hidden meaning that escaped me. It wasn't until a little further into my trading career that I discovered it was the brainchild of a guy named Alan Hull who came up with this thing in 2005. It's got three steps to create the signal line, which are listed in the blog. I'm having a squirrel moment. My mind just went to Leonard Skinner's Gimme Three Steps. Now I've got that stuck in my head. Wonderful. Uh, let's try to stay focused here. We're going to try something a little different with this bonus video. We'll be adding an extra indicator to see how they work together. We profiled the chandelier exit a while back, so we thought we'd just try that on its default settings. No cherry picking. We're just going to call them like we see them. The default setting for the HMA is a bit fast, so it reacts very quickly to changes in price, which is great because it demonstrates less lag than other moving averages, but it also makes for way too many useful signals. So we'll just slow that period setting down from 13 to something like 39. We just tripled the default number, it really has no significance and we'll leave it on the linear weighted setting so we can see what's going on. Ready? Steady? Who let the dogs out? Woof woof. We'll jump right in here with this baseline cross. Even though our exit indicator demonstrated a coinciding signal, it's just coincidence. Our baseline made two crosses before we got the exit signal, which saved you from a couple of losses as it crossed red-blue-red. A new short baseline signal was given in the same period, so that works out really nice. We'll exit the long with profit and open the short trade. Following our exit signal, we would have made some nice profits on that short trade. Price went sideways, causing our baseline to cross multiple times again. Since price is now above our baseline, we're only looking for long trades. Okay, we've got some interesting things here. First off, we had a massive retracement immediately following the opening of our long trade. We may have been stopped out and gotten back in on a continuation trade as price was still above the baseline. Had it not triggered your stop loss, you would have booked a huge profit on that long move up. Notice how many times price crossed through the baseline. The exit indicator was doing its job. Okay, new scenario. The baseline has indicated that we're only looking for short trades but we weren't out of our long until about six periods later. This is where we ask, how far is too far? Well, it depends. Personally, I'd give it a week or so for things to catch up. Some give it only a day or two, some much longer. That's up to you. I would have taken the short given those big bear candles. Let's see if I was right. All right, we got a nice short trade out of that one. Same deal here. We're out of our trade and our baseline indicates that we're only looking for longs, but it was about six or seven days ago. It looks like good momentum and within my week cutoff time, so we'll take the long trade and see how it plays out. That was magnificent. Price appeared to stall for a bit before continuing up and our exit indicator kept us in for the whole move. The exit coincided with the baseline short signal. so. This continues, and I think at this point, you get the idea, so we'll wrap things up. There were a few things going on in the technical analysis. We gave you a chance to see one of the very well-known indicators in a baseline capacity and paired it with an exit indicator. We had some great trades, insightful educational moments, and frankly, it was kind of fun breaking free of the usual things we do. We hope you learned something helpful, and maybe you'll give this well-known indicator a try. We wanted to let you know that VP and I are going to revert to the alternating week schedule we had a while back. That means we'll be profiling indicators every two weeks for now due to other projects we're working on for our community. 
So you'll get one next week, then two weeks after that. Another news announcement. Going forward, we'll be posting the monthly digest on the website instead of email. We're still maintaining our email list for special bulletins, but with so many requests for the digest, we felt this was easier. If you want to get on our broadcast list, please send your name and email to dan at stonehillforex.com. Naturally, your information will never be shared in any form or fashion. Lastly, we finally got to a place where we can offer an affiliate program to our community. If you'd like to make some easy cash selling the advanced course, there will be a page posted on the Stonehill Forex website in the next couple of weeks with all the details. Put those marketing chops to work and create passive income for trading, vacations, or even treating yourself to something special. We're just going to ignore your request for financial advice. We don't hear it, we don't see it, and we certainly don't speak it. Besides, with all the things we've got for free on the site and the killer course we have, you can actually do this yourself. The indicator has been in the library for a very long time, so if you haven't grabbed it yet, go get it and take it out for a spin. Our only goal is to make you a better trader.